Hi and hello everyone. Welcome to the Nursing Virus YouTube channel. This is me Loganathan and this video regarding the AIMS Norset 2021 examination, the expected cutoff we are going to discuss and how they are going to calculate the cutoff mark and based on um, the number of seats or uh, the based on the number of participants, just we'll look out those things in detail. And if so far, if you are not subscribed my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. So you'll get all my video notifications on your device. So here we'll go. Here, the AIMS Norset 2021 examination was conducted on the two shift based, the morning and as well that evening shift they conducted. The comparatively between that shift one and shift two, the shift two were felt difficult by most of that uh, participants those who attended the examination so here basically uh, the examination pattern was conducted with a 200 mcqs the 180 mcqs depends on a 10 to 15 image based question so actually this time the image based question was less in the second shift and in the first shift so around uh, more than uh, 15 mcqs Q based on the image they asked and uh, in both shift around 50 to 55 questions the n class based questions that is a mostly practical based question they asked on the both shift and around 100 to 110 questions the basic information from the nursing they asked and most of the questions belongs to the med search and obg related questions so especially that are practical based questions and uh, in both shift the 20 mcqs from the non nursing questions that is uh, basically the aptitude based questions so these are the common thing uh, comparatively between the shift one and shift two they asked the image based question was less in shift two and as well the shift two were felt difficult by most of the students so in that uh, next one more thing we need to consider about when they are going to calculate the expected cutoff this basic five information we need to think that minimum qualification the gender ratio and seat total seats and negative marks and uh, scoring paper and normalization so the minimum qualification is depends on the subject that means the caste wise the marks will be decided that is for the ur that is a general and economically weaker section the 50 percentage will be considered as an minimum qualification that is a hundred marks out of uh, this all marks out of uh, 200 it will be considered for the obc the 45 percentage and 90 marks and sc and st only that 40 percentage and 80 marks and uh, bwbd the five percentage relaxation from this all four category so this is the basic minimum qualification and as well suppose uh, for that economically weaker section along with that uh, BWBD and you are uh, the 45 percent that 90 marks will be considered and OBC and the BWBD the five percentage relaxation we need to calculate from this scoring so easily you can identify the SCST and BWBD the 35 percentage is enough that is around 70 marks or minimum qualification for getting uh, eligible to go to the various aim posting and we all know that the examination will be conducted 82 80 females and 20 male that is a 80 20 ratio so the males were having less chance uh, comparatively for that female candidate and the total seat allocation on this year the 2021 north set around uh, 22 aims the 22 in around 22 aims uh, totally 3733 seats so far they announced so this can be increased before uh, they are publishing the result and as well uh, another five more central government hospital they given that vacancy and that also they are going to fulfill through norset examination that is around 723 seats 
they are going to fill so if you are calculating together it will come around uh, 4466 um, sorry 56 seats approximately it will come so it may be increased uh, according to that uh, last year uh, aims nor set announcement because after the examination also they announced some more uh, vacancies from the various aim so we can uh, expect these seats can be increased to about the fourth one so the negative mark so the negative mark actually will make the ma major impact about the scoring of the each individual person on the various shift so around one third of mark will be reduced for your every wrong answer that mean around 0 0.3 Three three marks from your the obtained mark, the score will be reduced. And the fifth one, the scoring of the paper and the normalization process. So hence the aims were conducted uh, the North Set 2021 with that uh, two shift. They want to normalize the score and they want to announce the common rank list for the all the participants. So they used to normalize and final result will be announced. And here the cutoff mark. So this cutoff mark, uh, according to that, uh, the difficulties of the question from that uh, first and second shift, I have calculated. So this is the percentage and as well that marks which I calculated for the male candidate. So the male candidate will have that uh, 20 percentage of the seats from the total announcement. That means for every hundred seats, the 20 seats will be allotted for the male candidate. For the UR. 115 to 120 marks and percentage wise 58 to 60 percentage and for the OBC candidate that is a 108 to 115 marks and for the percentage wise 54 to 58 and comparatively between the OBC and EWS the economically weaker section will not have the much difference so even they may have plus 5 mark from this my expected level so that economically weaker section 108 to 112 marks and percentage wise 54 to 58 and for the sc candidate 104 to 108 and percentage wise 52 to 54 and for the st candidate 100 to 104 this may be further reduced we have the chance that is 50 to 52 percentage in the percentage wise calculation so out of this five cast suppose if they are bwbd mean they'll get the additional five percentage relaxation from this obtained marks so this is the benefit for the uh, bwbd candidates so, and for the cutoff mark for the female candidate so comparatively between the male and female the female candidate will have the lesser cutoff so because they have 80 percentage of the seats from the announcement so you can imagine for that every 100 seats, the 80 seats will be allotted for the female candidate. So the UR 106 to 112 marks and percentage wise 53 to 56 and OBC 100 marks to 106 marks and percentage 50 to 53 and economically weaker section 100 to 106 and percentage wise 50 to 53 percentage and SC candidate 94 to 100 marks will be eligible and for the percentage wise 47 to 50 percentage and for the SC candidate 92 to 98 percent marks and percentage wise 46 to 49 percentage so this marks along that plus 5 we can keep for the expected range so out of this 5 candidate five cast so if they are uh, bwbd mean additionally they'll used to get five percentage of relaxation from this all category so this is only my expected level of cutoff for fulfilling that uh, north set 2021 vacancy so because uh, this year also we have the huge announcement that is around 4500 plus vacancies which they are going to fulfill with that north set 2021 even uh, these seats can be have chance to increase and as well so this scoring mark will be valid till next one year so till the month of next november 2022 this scoring marks 
by the each candidate on that uh, various shift they are eligible to fulfill or to get appointment in that further announcement so we can wait uh, still one more year those who are not having chance not having have the chance to fulfill those vacancies so we'll see in that next video and thanks for joining with me thank you everyone